I'm Charles Knapp. You may already be familiar with my work through the Wardell publication, Charles Knapp Designs for Lamps. Now, of course, when you're breaking glass, what you're doing is you're pushing up directly under the score line and down on the sides. Uh, Press the ruler down tight. Starting at the top, pull it towards me. Slowly and evenly, no need to race and carry it right over the edge, like so. Curl these fingers up right underneath the score line and squeeze with my thumb. So I've got a good solid grip on the glass and lift up in the center. There, like so. My other hand has the same position that I was using to hold the bigger sheet of glass. So it's curled in tight with a good grip and the pliers are also right up to the score line with a good grip. Don't crush the glass. You just want to hold it firmly. And then I use the corner of the pliers and literally am twisting it to follow the curve like so, like so. Now that we have all our glass cut, it's time to take off the rough edge. I start at the edge. There's not much here that's in the way. And then I grind through the high spot. When all your pieces are ground, dry them off, and uh, they're ready for foiling. I start right at the corner, and I sight down the edge of the glass. And what I'm aiming for is to get the glass right in the center of the foil. Now then I cut them off flush right at the corner. That's basically all there is to foiling. Piece by piece, wrap them with foil. And when you're all done, and I'm all done, we can start soldering. Now what you need to do is have some sort of jig. I use a set square. And once I have them in position, it's time to solder them. I just get a bit of solder, a drop of solder, and come down slowly just to hold the glass in position. And it's ready for the finished soldering. As I said, I like a high round bead because with a, with a high solder bead, the solder becomes a feature of your work as well. Okay, now we're ready for perhaps the trickiest soldering. This is simply going to take practice, but it's worthwhile because it gives you a, such a nice finished edge. Well, that's a lot of work for a little piece of glass. But doing this finish work first, before we actually assemble the lamp, is much easier than doing this edge when the whole lamp is all together. Bring the other in to meet it. Now the first two are the hardest. Bring the next piece in. So build your bottom ring like this. And then when you're done, I'll uh, show you how we do the next row. OK? I want the back edges meeting. So I line it up corner to corner. Just tacking at the corners will hold it upright. OK. Now we're ready for the next row. Once the second piece is in place, they rest against each other, and you no longer need the prop. There. That's the last piece in. Well, now that our lamp has been reinforced, we can work with it and do the finished soldering. The inside soldering, I don't worry about getting a high bead on. I do like to get it smooth, and then we'll be ready for the real showpiece soldering, which is going to be on the outside. Now, just like any soldering, it has to be level, or the solder is going to run downhill. Boy, we're nearly done. The next step is going to be to uh, put the vase cap on, and we'll soon be able to enjoy our new lamp. I can actually join it to the lamp, like so. So to wash the lamp, it's just a lot of elbow grease, um, sponge, hot water, and laundry detergent. So I'm just going to go take my lamp now and get it really, really clean. And when yours is washed, I'll show you how to patina it. Well, there we have it. This is how you make a copper foil stained glass lamp. I hope you enjoy your lamp as much as I'm going to enjoy mine. Thank you for joining us. And I hope you make many more lamps in the future.